Family planning is the ability and the right to choose when to have a child. I can't imagine what it would have been like not being able to make my own decisions about the number and timing of the children I would wish to have and simply be the victim of life circumstances. And so, why not every woman? I have seen with my own naked eyes where one would have five, six children, yet at the end of the day, they don't have food to feed those children. They don't have clothes to clothe those children. You can't work with women on political participation or on education or on health if you're not also working with them on family planning issues. If women die in childbirth, then all the other rights become meaningless. It's probably the most effective human development intervention you can give to women and girls. I don't think there's anything better that you can do to have a balanced society. It provides a golden opportunity for the women, of course. These women can take choices, they can get education and jobs. But it's also an opportunity for a country. It's one of those core interventions that helps countries move from poverty to prosperity. And uh, the reality is almost every country that has made that transition has changed the structure of its demographics with uh, fewer young people, more working-aged adults to support a growing economy. It's not often that such a critical issue becomes elevated on the global agenda. Governments and foundations from all around the world are coming together. Today we have before us a unique opportunity to transform the lives of millions of women and men Family planning strategies, we believe, must be country-led and based on social acceptance, cultural appropriateness, and felt needs of the people. Women should be able to decide freely and for themselves whether, when, and how many children to have. I don't think it's right that a woman should die giving birth to another life. It shouldn't be acceptable. And I, as a woman leader, shouldn't even allow it to happen. This is our moment, and, and we're here because we believe this is going to create a new momentum. We've put it for the first time in the budget, and we hope to increase it on an annual basis to make sure that everybody who wants family planning, commodity, can have them. Women are what will make this work, and that when women have that role, men and families and communities will also prosper. I'm optimistic because there are hundreds of millions of women who desperately want to make life better for themselves and for their children. And if we listen to them, I know we're going to succeed.